What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hotel Transylvania Transformania. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Am I a big fan of this franchise? No, not really. I remember watching the first movie and reacting to it with a big meh. I skipped the second film, never saw that one. And I watched the third, the whole summer vacation whatever, and by that point, I was like, oh, they're trying to create an unwarranted follow-up here. Color me not impressed. So am I glad that this fourth installment is the finale? Yeah, I guess. But you know what? By the time the end credits roll, I still feel indifferent to it. And that's because I never really had any strong emotional connection to any of these characters. It's kind of like Shrek Forever After, a decade ago remember that one it was fun while it lasted but come on let's wrap it up guys time to call it a day Written by Amos Vernon and Nunzio Randazzo and Gendy Tartakovsky and directed by Derek Dryman and Jennifer Kluska in Hotel Transylvania Transformania Drac and the Pack are back like you've never seen them before reunite with your favorite monsters for an all-new adventure that presents Drac with his most terrifying task yet when Van Helsing's mysterious invention goes haywire, Drac and his monster pals are all transformed into humans, and Johnny becomes a monster. In their new mismatched bodies, Drac, stripped of his powers and an exuberant Johnny, loving life as a monster, must team up and race across the globe to find the cure before it's too late and before they drive each other crazy. With help from Mavis and the human Drac pack, the heat is on to find a way to switch themselves back before their transformations become permanent. When I heard that Adam Sandler and Kevin James are not returning for this final Hotel Transylvania movie, my immediate thought was, what is this something else that they could be busy doing? I mean, for reals, if I were them, just do the gig, take the paycheck and go. That said, the replacement voice actor Brian Hull actually did a pretty good job as Drag. He sounds just like Adam Sandler, you could hardly tell the difference. So Transformania basically plays off of the whole putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. In this case, the monsters become humans and the humans become monsters. It's a parent trap switcheroo that banks on the father-in-law, son-in-law banters. Unfortunately, Drag and Johnny's South America road trip goes on 40 minutes too long, as the film's absurd goofiness keeps missing the mark every single time. There's nothing impressive about the animation either, and the supporting characters are simply just tagging along for the ride. But what'd you expect? With the exception of Toy Story 4, every fourth sequel of every other movie is usually bound to be mind-numbing and soulless. And in the case of Transformania, everything they throw against the wall just won't stick anymore. And these characters have become pesky guests who have overstayed their welcome. That's it. That's all I have to say about this film, really. Anything more and I'll end up rambling aimlessly. Listen, if you are fond of this franchise, you might find Transformania just okay as the final nail in the coffin, while the rest of us we were ready to move on a couple of installments ago.